we open our heart to the ministry of your spirit by your word and the ministry of your word by your spirit we declare the lord your word is open for us again you speak to us the language we understand in jesus precious name we pray amen the word that god gave us for this year is exceeding greatness of his power is that working mean everybody say exceeding greatness of god's power is that working mean say it as if you mean it say exceeding greatness of god's power is at work in my life and that is your experience the power of god is at work in your life amen and amen it doesn't say that the power of the devil is not there but what it says is that the power of god is at work in our lives and the bible says that power that is at work in us is exceedingly great another scripture says that Another scripture says, another version says that it is immeasurable. That power that is at work in our life is immeasurable. So we started looking at the dynamics of the power of God that is at work in our lives. It's important to understand what is this power of God we are talking about, what is the characteristics of God's power, and how does it work. So in this to come, we're going to be looking at the characteristics of His power. But for right now, we are trying to define what is that power that when i say the power of god is at work in me what does it mean and we have established the reason why you need the power of god at work in our life the reason why you need to activate it the reason why you have to know this we have talked about that because of our time we're not going to go continue in that but today i just let us just make a quick recap of what we did last week last week i taught us that this power of god has some the dimensions to it the bible called it the power of the eyes and the second one it calls it the power of the age to come so and the third one the scripture calls it the resurrection power i'm not going to go into details explaining what those words are for us because we have so much to do this morning so last week we ended up by saying that the power that we are talking about we can understand it from the physics dimension and we said according to physics physics says that power is the amount of energy transferred or converted per unit time so i said that the power that is at work is traceable to energy that is at work that is changing remember that word that can be transferred from one place to the other or that can be transformed or converted from one form to the other how I many of us remember the example the classic example i gave last week what is that okay so we're going to do it again this morning please bring me this one remember that so when we do this it will always be you know they took those pictures and um, i was asking people what what is going on here so but you can't forget this if you will we, we hear this very very well so i said that this high when you see a cloth that is wrinkled i want to straighten it out there is no amount of sitting down that is going to make that difference what is going to make the difference in your life that's going to make the difference in ironing that is ironing that cloth so the iron is bringing power you are exacting force to iron it but just iron it like this is not going to work it needs an energy if i get a, a cloth can i get can i get one of the clothes here yeah, maybe anyone that'll be fine okay so let's assume this is a, this is a cloth that i want to straighten out if I start doing it this way, what will happen? Will it make a difference? It's not going to make a difference. I'm just, I'm just deceiving myself until I bring an energy. What is that energy? Eat what? Eat energy. But that eat energy is not going to be supplied until it, it has to be converted from what? From the electric energy did you get that concept now so and how do i get that electric energy into this i need what i need to plug it did you get that concept now so if i plug this iron 
I will tap into electrical energy. And that in electrical energy will be converted by a system that is within this. Okay? It will be converted to heat energy. It is that heat energy that I need to make a force to change whatever thing that I want to change here. Does it make sense thus far now? So let's start by looking at that energy and we begin to bring build on from that. The first point here is this energy. Give it to me, please. When we are talking about energy, number one point here is that today I, I want to start another series from another series. And what I'm going to start looking at is dynamics of kingdom energy conversion. In other words, how to convert kingdom energy to your advantage because what we have stopped last week is that the energy has to be converted from one form to the other for it to do what you want it to do in your life you will not just get it energy like that electrical energy has to be converted to become an electric and an heat energy and we stopped last week by saying that there are energies of the kingdom okay that we must learn to convert from one form to the other for us to have the kind of result that we want for our lives did you get that concept thus far now so but we're going to be talking some more about what are those energies in the kingdom but first of all i want us to start by looking at what is this energy we're talking about so according to the fixes because i needed to consult engineer Tola to have some of these basic things maybe she deceived me i don't know but i'm sure that she, have, she might have said something serious or else we are going to query her doctorate now look at this energy is the phenomenon that change that that make change to happen follow this it is not power that changes things for as it were it's actually energy according to the physics am i right in the natural before i begin to say something else that was you told me check it now that, that, so energy is what changes things is what changes things so in the kingdom what changes our life is energies of the kingdom okay so but before we continue maybe i should just tell us some of those energies of the kingdom so that as i'm painting this picture we can begin to understand those things you can give me that slide where i gave us some of them now this are i will talk about like 10 of there about when we are talking about energies of the kingdom number one wisdom in no particular order wisdom is one of them wisdom changes things it has the power to change things however wisdom must still be converted to something else for the kind of change that you want are you following me now anointing is an energy in the kingdom the bible says that by the anointing yokes shall be broken it's an energy that changes things in the kingdom number three relationship is another energy how many of us believe that in, in, in relationship is an energy remember the case of a man that bible says was a is, is a pussy man that he has not been able to to, I mean, to work for a long time but five of his guys carried him is it five i think they are five right they four of them right they carried him mark chapter two that will be correct mark chapter two four of these of his guys they took him and the bible said they opened the ceiling to lower him to what where jesus was that's an energy what he couldn't have done by himself the relationship that he found himself changes everything in his life are we here today number four is revelation revelation changes things the bible says that upon this revelation i will build my church the gates of which shall not be broken it's an energy on itself the next one money is an energy of us know that money is an energy energy I mean, money changes things it changes men you never can tell how a man can be humble or proud until you see money in his hands can i have a witness in the house okay so when you see somebody that say i'm humble check his account before you will agree whether he humbles or not check his account very well right so the next 
promises promises of, of in the kingdom they are energy on themselves okay either they are prim primary or secondary we're going to be looking at those ones as we continue but promises of the kingdom their energy covenant is an energy of the kingdom today we have declared no arm no heart that's the covenant that god has given us in the house it's an energy you can run with the next one is prophecies prophecy is another energy of the kingdom that we have grace is another energy of the kingdom by the grace of god i have what i have it's an energy of the kingdom and of course the word of god too is an energy of the kingdom so now let's go back to where we started from the energy of the kingdom that we change things okay they are they 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 create they create change that's the first one number two i said that energy can also be transformed from one form to the other so for instance we look at we saw how by the ion you can change electrical energy to heat energy the same thing there are some certain energies of the kingdom that can be converted to another thing for instance wisdom is an energy of the kingdom that can be converted to money how many of us know that we can convert it to money talk to me everybody it's an energy that can be converted from one thing to the other relationship is an energy of the kingdom that can be converted to wisdom how many of us know you can convert relationship to wisdom do you believe you can con convert that what is the simple one just take you don't know something take somebody else's wisdom to be your wisdom simple got it <laughs> praise god forevermore so what it means is that you don't need to have the result of the wise man just follow the wise man you will have the result of the wise man some people they follow people blindly you don't do that don't get into relationship because that person is beautiful look at his life what can he add to your life am i communicating here this morning are we see here this morning so there is a way you can convert relationship to money convert it to wisdom you can convert promises to covenant so it can be transformed from one point to the other give me the third point i'm explaining some things for us so that we can know how they work number three point i say energy cannot be created it can only be discovered and activated please understand that energy you cannot create anointing <coughs> can you create anointing you cannot create an anointing you can only activate it for your life you can create prophecy that you see this understanding is what you must have lest you get yourself into trouble with some, some false prophecy that we have at hand when somebody say hey you have you seen some of those common comedians that you, they call them prophets they say hey they, everybody say prophet prophet prophesy can i prophesy and then you will see those those, those hey, prophesy Pro it is a lie they are creating it themselves that's why there is no backup are you following me now you can't follow this kind of ministry and get involved in those kind of foolish things how will somebody just look at you and just say can i prophesy and you say prophesy can you prophesy you don't need to announce that can you prophesy ah you know the force you know that energy you know the force behind this thing when that force when they are not to prophesy come upon you can't host it you can't hold it this idea is say can i prophesy uh, prophesy prophesy so that you're going to see them dance <laughs> foolishness of the highest order you can't create it you cannot create these things you can't create wisdom how will you create wisdom wisdom that says that before before the beginning i am he he possessed me he's talking about god that god possessed me at the beginning how will you create such do you understand when people say i just created a relationship you just activated you cannot create one for yourself men are no morons Are you here this morning are you, are you following this stage you can't create it you have to understand that you can't create what god has not given you it can that is why you have to understand by the grace you are giving G grace is a gift it's not something you create yourself so physicians told us that cannot be created so and we understand from the scripture also it can only be discovered and be activated so when somebody says that i don't have wisdom 
it's not that you don't have wisdom as it were. What happened is this, you have not activated it. As a believer, it is resident in you. The Bible says that Jesus, the wisdom of God and the power of God. So somebody will say, but the, the book of J uh, James, the book of James says that, is there anyone that lack wisdom? Let him ask. What is invariably saying is this, is anyone, has, is anyone here that has not activated the wisdom of God in him? Let him activate it by speaking it. Hello? Listen, many people have been frustrated praying because they don't understand the dynamics of prayer. Many things that we are on our knees asking for, in the true sense of it, you don't ask for it, you activate it by speaking it upon yourself. Hello? If you follow what we teach in this house so well, your Christianity will be very easy for you to, pra to practice. And we've almost been there. I've almost been there. I remember that, you know, of recent. I was in those days when we just, I just started ministry. And we, and we moved from my from Macomi, Dempster Macomi. I will walk to Tui. Okay? Walk down like that. One hour, one and a half hours. And I will say, Lord, give me power. Lord, give me power. Give me power. Until recently when I discovered that you don't need more power, you need more revelation. But God is a merciful God. He knows how to convert things. You don't actually need more power. Because power is there. You only just need to plug yourself in. You need more of plugging yourself. You need more activity. You cannot create these things. You can only just activate them. Hello? All of you are quiet now. Because you are like, Pastor, I hope you are teach teaching the right thing. We just need to activate these things. Hallelujah. Amen. Number four point. Look at the next point. I said the flow of energy is not biased to the appliance. If an appliance can be plugged in, energy will yield to that appliance. Hello? Let me give us an example. Some of you have said you should bring your own iron. Bring your own iron. Let me see. Not one. Bring your eye on. Look at what we want to do here. Where is Bukumi? Did you bring her? Okay. Because I told her to bring it. Now, don't forget in a plug, where is that? Can give, give, just follow this simple teaching that is going to help you. Ah, all of you brought white eye on. What do I want to do? Who is this, who's, who's, who's this one? This dot also. Okay, give me, give me, just give me a source of, 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 of this thing. I need you to listen carefully now to the word of God saying. I want you to understand something that the energy of the kingdom is not by hearts to anybody. For as many that can connect themselves to that flow, it will yield to it. Are you following me now? Once you are qualified, we certify you. It will work for you. Once you are certified, like for instance, now this amplifier, that's this 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 appliance now, it must be certified by the manufacturer that it is home use. This one must be certified by the manufacturer that it is for own use that other one too once it is certified that it is for own use and we plug it in to this if i plug it in here what do you know is going to happen i don't have thomas in the house and I said, you should come and try it. But now you will see that it, the light is on. Who is going to help me? The light is on? Yes, sir. Did you see it? So once I can plug it in and I can put on the regulator, it's a matter of time. This thing will be hot. Okay? Yes. Somebody will say, oh, it's because of pastor's own. That's why it is working. 
Whose is this? This is yours. Now, because she's a woman, it must not work, right? Must it work? Is it certified? Is it for a home use? If it is for a home use, the same source we plug it in. What must happen? It must what? Where's the light on this one? Are you sure it's certified? You know, in those days when you are trying to know how to, to we used to do like this. How many of you have done that when you were back from where you came from? God help you from, from power surge. Remember? You just do like this. Sometimes you're going to say, no, bring your chick, let's try it here. <laughs> <laughs> you started hearing noise? Are you hearing? Easy? Uh -huh. Have you seen the steam? Yeah. Will you say because she's a woman, it must not work for it? As long as this is certified we plug it to the same source this source must yield its strength to it the same energy plug your finances there it must yield the same energy plug your health there it must yield is somebody here this day if it is not working before but they say it is certified put it in it must work if it is not working what must you check check the regulator you've checked the you just bought this and you you turn the regulator on it's not working you will keep it at home right tell what, what will you do you will do what Re why because they have lied that it is that if it is certified it must work are you certified the blood of Jesus has done that for you. If you can plug your life into the source, it must yield the strength to you. Are we here this morning? I want you to plug this thing into your mind. Is somebody following me? Now, this is who, who, who is this one? This daughter, right? Oh, it's, not, uh, it's not even new. Ah, uh, no, 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 don't plug it. Now, this is a new one. Will you say now because it's new, that's why it's working? All right now if we have black one black colored one I, I use that one in the morning right michael you have black one will they say because it is black it must not work is it working because it is white why do you think that because of your color that's why things are not working for you in this country hello if you can plug your life into the same source it is compulsory for this thing to yield the source for you hello this is wisdom plug your finances into wisdom it must yield strength for you you say ah, i don't know what now this health is the power thing or i don't need wisdom uh -uh. that's why you are sick you are, you are you are becoming sick plug your health into wisdom it must yield the same strength for you is somebody following me now this is how the kingdom works it must yield it's not bias at all in fact as a matter of fact Anything that they call a home use, you plug it in, it must yield the strength to it. Bring your phone. If you plug your phone to this, what must happen? Come on, talk to me. We plug keyboard here, what must happen? Must we say because it's a keyboard, it must not work? As long as they say it is for home use, as, as, as long as they tell us that it is, it is according to this, the, the, no, the energy that is supplied here, it must yield a strength for you. Listen, could it be because you have not plugged your marital life there, that's why it's not yielding? Plug it in! That is your wisdom. Hello? Are we here this morning? See, if you say, you know what, I can only just trust God to help me for my health. But my academics, I will handle it. Keep handling it. Is somebody following me now? As long as you can plug anything that is satisfied for this thing to work with, it must yield the strength for it. Are you blessed with what I share with you right now? Okay, so let's continue this teaching. Praise God. Now, look at the next point I'm making. Number six. Understand that energies are available to you in measures. 
to make the immeasurable power of God available to you. Now, listen to this. I've told us that the power of God that's working in us is immeasurable. The exceeding, the power of God is exceedingly great. I will still use one of them with time. Okay? Praise God. Now, look at this, everybody. Understand. Bring the one that is retractable. Don't let me fall. Uh -huh. Understand that the energies, look at this. Understand that energies are available to you in measures. Don't forget the power of God is immeasurable. However, God will not make available for you that immeasurable power directly. He makes it available for you in measures. Did you get that point now? He yeah. will make that power to be measurable for you, but not directly like that. It will be in a measure because if he makes it available for you directly, immeasurably, you are going to die. It will kill you. So, this is what you understand here. Now, look at it. Everybody, look at it. I'm going to give you some points that's going to help you. The energy, the electrical energy that is supplied to this house from the source is immeasurable. But when it's to get into this particular facility, they, they, they step it down. Is, is there anything like that? Right? They step it down. So that the use, what you want to use it for, it will not destroy all these appliances. Hello? That's why when we have many of you came from there is something that if you buy TV, I say I bought TV for two hundred thousand um ten thousand dollars, and you are not going to buy fifty dollar worth of what? What do you call it? stabilizer you will soon blow ten thousand dollars it's a matter of that if you are that stingy of fifty dollars you will soon lose ten thousand because the light there is not what it's not stable they must step it down for the use in that place to regulate it if they don't do that it's not going to work so this is it the power of god is immeasurable to you however it is in measures for your use so when you are saying, oh, you know what? Ha, 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 the power, I need more power of God. No, go and check the regulator. That is what you have to look at. So for instance, in this house, they have to step it down. And one of the things they used to control it at the back end, they call some things, they call it fuse. Hello? I hope I've not lost you. So when you go back there, how I many of us have had your maybe you are high on it and it tripped off? It happened to me this morning. It tripped off. When it tripped off, you call comment. Is that what you do? What will you do? You go and check what? Check the box to find out that as any of the fuse cut, is that not what you're going to do? You will go and check it. You are going to swap it to the right and swap it to the left, and the thing what will light on again. So there is something they call fuse. Everybody say fuse. Number two is the facility itself. So for instance now, before they will give us the kind of the, the energy we need in this house right now, they must know what is this facility for. Is it a home facility or an industrial facility? Come on. Are you still here? Before they will determine the level of energy that they are going to make available for, to make available for a particular home, they need to define what are they doing in that particular facility. A home facility or what? Or an industrial facility. For instance, do you know that you know that the, the energy that home use iron is going to consume is different from the one that the industrial iron is going to consume come on talk to me come on talk to me so when they want to allocate a level of energy for them in that industry in, the, in, in that industry it will be different from this one because of the use so the first thing i wanted to write down is what is the facility the second thing after they have distributed the one they know they are going to use in an in the facility the next thing they are going to do is to 
put them into fuses to still track it down not because that power cannot be used but because they want to keep you safe many times when the power of god is not totally available for you it's because god wants to keep you safe hello how we explain these things to you as we continue the third one is what we call the appliance itself so for instance the energy that an ion is going to consume is different from the energy that your microwave is going to consume am i am i correct if i'm if i'm, if I'm wrong just just do like this to me i will know that the pastor is is saying something that god i will know but you will agree with me that the energy that this ion is going to consume is different from the one that your phone is going to consume can i have a witness come on are we still here this morning some of you are not good in science when you are in school that's why you are looking at me that way but you will know it by fire by force today now are we still here this morning so the the uh, the, the, the the how to put into fuse so the facility the fuse the appliance is another thing and then within the appliance there is something we call a regulator can you see four levels of 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 tracking things down of taming things down those are the precautions that god put around the power know that this power cannot be totally immeasurably great towards you but he put his power at check hello yes, sir. because god is good but sometimes it's not safe how many of you know that electrical energy is good but it is not every time that it's safe you say pastor i don't agree okay if it had been somewhere i would have told you to come and light fire <laughs> and let's see whether it's safe or not the same thing is with god that's why god called him he said it's a consuming fire so god put restriction into his power for our safety he will not be revealing it with time so now let's look at it what is facility what does it mean to you before god will say i will allocate a level of my power for you god wants to first of all know your personal relationship with him so this that's these are the ways they allocate power for us in the kingdom god will allocate his immeasurably great power towards you he will he will he will measure it your own portion for you based number one on your relationship with him if god loves you god will not give you above your relationship with him is somebody following me now listen everybody look at me here. everybody look at me here. god will not give you things because of your problem if he loves you he will give you more of his power because of his presence in your life many times you are praying lord give me power to overcome to overcome this ancestral flow power to uh, to overcome the poverty no why can't you go and increase your relationship with them when you increase your relationship the automatically speaking is going to increase that when we came to this place each time we are in the service like this what will happen during those days the light is going to go off remember those days the light will just go off then we call them and say come and fix this electricity we don't want to keep paying your 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 your, your, your rent what, what what did they change they changed the fuse they said the one that is entering there is 25 ohms right they change it to 30. just just 0.5 just 0.5 change made it about 5 ohms change made a difference when you begin to dwell in his presence you begin to attract more power you begin to draw more power and that power will be made available for you somehow Are you here this morning the second thing that will determine the allocation of power to your life listen let me carefully say that is the church your local church that you belong to a local church a local church give it to me a local church and you see that the strength of your local church if your local church is weak i tell you by the mercy of god the power that will be activated in your life as a believer will be weak a church is a mother jesus is the father of the church 
church no is is no is the husband jesus is the husband of the of the saint okay the church is the mother of the saint it is the mother that nurtures if your husband want to take glory of this child now he just am i the one that is not that is carrying the best thing that your husband can do is to carry these people he cannot breastfeed these people it is the mother that breastfeeds is that not that is not churning the the baby like this the same thing it is your church that will nurture your christian living if your church is not strong enough it will not it, you will not walk in the dimension that we're supposed to walk papa was teaching this morning i attended the service and he was saying he said there was a time in which he met a particular woman and the woman said you know what i don't mind let me just keep attending your church and he said that ah so are you my member or where he said no no my church is somewhere else he said okay so why can't you stand in your church he said i know our pastor has said that you can go anywhere to go and graze you know to go and be eating a sheep can go anywhere to go and graze. the only thing is that come back on sunday and this he said i said he said he told you he said your pastor is a fraud He will not make food available for you. He said you should go out there and be eating. He said, now, let me give you a classic example. How many people will say, my child, go and eat in somebody else's house. Go and eat at anybody's house. Go and eat somebody else. But in the evening, just come back and sleep at home. Any responsible man will do that. Listen, the power that will be available for you in the kingdom is traceable to the local church that to submit to it's one of it it's not the only thing no, but it's one of it give me the second one what is the fuse for us in the kingdom in other words the fuse that is regulating the energy that we have in this house your assignment the power that god will make available for you cannot be greater than the assignment that you are to do on the earth nobody can be greater than the grace that god has made made available for him and what determines the grace that is made available for you in the kingdom is what is the assignment that you have is the reason for use that is another thing if we come and we say you know what come and give us maybe you say we give us a fuse of 50 ohms they're going to ask you what do you want to be doing in this place am i communicating because even if they give us, we're going to be praying for what we are not using. Are we here today? Yes. So the allocation of God's power for you in the kingdom is traceable to the reason for you. So what do you want to be using the power of God for? Okay? If I start praying right now and say, Oh God, a million so, a million so, give me power for a million so, God will look at it and say, Are you ready to do crusade? If I'm not ready to do the crusade, God is not going to allocate that power. He would rather give it to somebody else that has the passion for souls. Hello? Are we here today? Before you begin to ask God to increase your power and increase your influence in life, what do you want to use it for? <laughs> Are you here this day? What do, oh God! Go, ah! God! If you can make me a millionaire, ah, well, no, you see, this is going to change. God will look at it that if I give it to you, it will kill you. <laughs> Have you seen some people that a little bit of a thousand after they have paid all the bills, they are like this? Papa said some times ago, he said one guy went to uh, Jerusalem. <laughs> he went to Jerusalem and he came back and he was not attending the church again. And so the pastor went to it's not this it's not it's not happened at dream center so it's a pastor a pastor now sent to him and said we've not been seeing you in church again what happened and i said they should go and tell the pastor that when i went to jerusalem nobody came from the, from the church to come and greet me he said he said go he said the pastor tell him that they should go and ask him is he crazy <laughs> went to jerusalem did you go to heaven? I want to, the, the people that went to heaven that they saw heaven or go to God, they are not saying that kind of nonsense. You went to Jerusalem for two weeks and you said they have not come to greet you at all. Ah! So, some people, if you look at their heart, the heart of some people is the reason why the power of God is not available for them. 
That's the fuse. So God does regulate their heart. He just use the principle of the man that say, "Don't give me too much, oh God. Don't give me too much so that I will not sin against you. At the same time, just don't don't make me you no know, be poor so that I will not curse you." So they are just living an average life. The most important is that I want to get to heaven. God said that that is the word I can give you. Just go to heaven. Get to heaven. <laughs> what is your heart measure before the heavens? That determines the power of God that can make him live. It's, it's immeasurable. Comet has too much to give, but they tame it down to what is obtainable in this house. They still put fuse there to trim it down. So your fuse is your assignment. Your fuse is your heart condition. Give it to me. Your fuse is your instruction. Your fuse is righteous restriction that God give you. Hello? I hope you know that freedom it has its best when it is righteously restricted. Is somebody following me now? Righteous restriction is what makes freedom to be safe. A freedom that is not restricted is a danger. That's the fuse that you have. What's the next one? Now the third one is what is the appliance. The appliance is your destiny. Appliance here. What we draw the energy that this thing needs, okay, is the destiny. Your destiny will determine what God can give you. Your faith, your vision, and we'll be teaching on this line as we continue. Your mind is another thing. Now let me talk quickly about this mind. Everybody look at me. I'm running on very shortly. This week, God Lord spoke something to my heart and I want to share it to everyone. L- listen to me. Your mind determines your thinking system. There are two ways you can be thinking in life. Listen carefully. You can be thinking about I, if I had had this, I don't have this. That's why my life is like this. If I have had this, I would have been this. You can either be thinking in the direction of what you don't have or you start thinking about what you have. I may not have a car, but I have a laptop. What can I do with my laptop? A man can be thinking about, ah, if not because I don't have a car, I would have been doing this. If not because I don't have a home, I would have been doing this. If not because I don't have this, I would have been doing He keeps thinking about what he doesn't have. Or somebody else will say, you know what? Forget about what I don't have. This one is what I have. What can I do with it? Hello? The power of God that will be made available for you is directly traceable to the health of your mind. Health of your mind. You're going to be teaching about those things as we continue. The power of God is available, but what are you going to do? And the last thing has to round up this morning is the regulator. Look at this now. This ion has a regulator. If you don't regulate it, what will happen to your clothes? the cloth will be bound. So the first thing we are going to see about this is the purity. How many of you have seen some of the high on that this place is going to be what? This place is wealth? Will be rough, right? So what must happen with this thing? What, how do you clean your, your high on? Uh-huh, that's, that's how. That's how. You have to clean, because if you don't clean, no matter how new this high on is, if it is dirty here, it's not going to work. Purity. Of your life will determine the power of God that will be made available for you. That is the regulator. Number two, what is the attitude? It's another thing. All of this I'm going to be teaching as time goes on. If your attitude to life is negative, the power of God will not be available for you. It will kill you. Hello? I wrote something of recent and I'm going to keep saying until it sinks into the heart of everybody. A man, a grown-up man that cannot categorically say that this is what I want to do with my life. I say that man is what? Is a puzzle that it, no intelligent man can solve. The devil cannot solve that puzzle. God himself cannot solve that puzzle. When you are asking a grown-up, what do you want to use with your life? He sees looking at the stars and says, I don't know. I don't know. That is an attitude. He knows. He, just, he only has a wrong attitude to life, a lazy attitude. What else there? Believe it will only be to you according to your faith. 
authority that God has given to you. That's another thing. They cannot give you power above the level of authority that you have. Your personal revelation is another one. All of this that God will be teaching them with time. Personal revelation is another thing. I said the other time, I said many times you don't need more power, you only need what? You need fresh revelation. What is revelation of yourself? Maturity is another one. You just, you just bought 2020 Lamborghini my car. You just bought Lamborghini 2020 and the place is to look at David and you give it to David. David, you can drive to wherever you want to drive. Shiri, we still start driving, right? Will you give your 2020 car, your Mercedes, that best that um, bro, bro, we will buy for you, Bezo? Will you give that car, will you give it to Sherry and say, okay, go, go, go to Walmart and go and buy something for me? Oh, I know. She's an accountant. She's not going to do that. <laughs> Praise God forevermore. You're not going to do it for someone that you are not tested and trusted. The reason why the power of God has not been made available for so many people is that they are not tested and trusted in the kingdom. The maturity and things like that. What is that there? Let's round up and go home. The next one is resistance level. Sometimes there are resistance. So sometimes you are trying to work with some appliances, not knowing that they have put a restriction to it. What will happen? You have to remove that restriction for that thing to work as supposed to work. As I round up this morning, everybody look at me. The power of God is immeasurable. However, it will give it to us bit by bit until it becomes immeasurable to your life. And how, what we determine that are many reasons that I've given today. Okay, you need to start working at what are the restrictions you need to remove yourself? What are the things you have to pay attention to? Personal work with God and things like that. Start working on those things and see your life change like never before. Shall we rise to our feet this morning? Are you blessed you came this morning? Yes, Hallelujah. I want us to come before the Father and I say, Lord, I yield myself. I yield myself. I will do your will every time. I will do your will every time. I will do your will. Get the children for me. I will do the will of the Father.